what an extravagant box in these magnificent settings. And if we open the lid, it gets even better inside. Now, we're looking at a serious bit of musical box kit, uh, in that it's a box, tells us here who it's made by, perhaps the, one of the best known names of musical box manufacturer, Nicole Frere of Geneva. But tell me, I mean, I love these boxes simply because I, I think of myself as a bit of a mechanical nut, but why do you love them? Well, I like anything mechanical, anything old, anything ingenious, uh, and I admire the workmanship that went into them, you know, all those years ago. So um, I have about 20 or 30 small musical boxes, but this is the largest one I have. And was it in this condition when you got it? Because it really is in fantastic no, but I saw state. an advertisement for an auction over at uh, Ferring, and this musical box was there. Persuaded my wife to let me bid for it, because she held the purse strings, <laughs> and I think I got it for £100. My goodness, and how many years ago that was, was that? about 28, 30 years ago. And what state was it in? Uh, it was in a very battered state, a lot of wormholes, uh, which I had to fill. I re-French polished it. I mean, the, the, the work that you've done is terrific. And of course, the fascinating thing about this box is, as it says on the tune sheet here, voix celeste, angel voices. Uh, we in England rather commonly call it an organ box, a which I think organ, a reed yes. organ. I think voix celeste is such a wonderful description. These pins in the centre operate a different row of teeth and they are directly linked to a little reed organ. Yes, that's right. And it gives this wonderful sound. Now, you bought it for £100. Yes, near as I can remember. I I've... thought that was a lot of money in those days. It was a lot of money, mm. um, and it's still worth a lot of money. Today, I would have said a box like this would be in the region of perhaps £2,000. Right. Great. And I want to give myself the treat now of listening to it. Mm. 